Hello everyone, it's great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we will be making an apple slab pie and it's going to be a real easy version of it because we're going to use pie filling I know. We're going to cheat today. But I don't have two cans of pie filling. So what I'm going to do is do half apple and half strawberry. We'll see how it turns out. So what you're going to need for this recipe is two refrigerated pie crust Followed according to package directions. I have one pie crust, so guess what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to make my own crust, which I'm going to get to. 42 ounce canned apple pie filling. This is two standard size cans of filling, like I said. I do not have, this is 21, 21, 42 strawberry apple. One cup all-purpose flour, one half cup of brown sugar, measured and packed. 1 half teaspoon nutmeg, 1 half teaspoon cinnamon, and 1 half cup of unsalted butter. And that needs to be cold. So let's get started. Go ahead, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So what I'm going to have to do is go ahead and make my pie dough real quick because I wish I had an extra Pillsbury one, but I don't, and I'm not running to the store. So for my pie dough, I'm going to need four cups of flour, two teaspoons salt, two cups of shortening, one egg, one teaspoon sugar, one teaspoon vinegar, and one half cup of cold water. And that is it. Now, if you're making your homemade dough, you don't need to preheat the oven yet because we're going to put this dough in the fridge for about an hour before we use it. If you're using the Pillsbury dough, go ahead, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Let's add two teaspoons of salt to our flour. Go ahead and mix that together. Then we'll cut in our two cups of shortening. All I have is buttered flavor. It's Crisco. So there again. Not going to run to the store. <laughs> Too lazy. I know it's three miles from the house, but don't feel like it. A lot of times I'll use two knives to cut the uh, shortening in, but I'll use one of these little gadgets here today. I think it'll make it a little bit easier. Actually, this works a heck of a lot better. I just ordered this on Amazon. I don't know, I might have spent 10 bucks. Can't remember. Boy, oh boy. It sure works good. Then we shall add our water, vinegar, and sugar. Okay, let's pour that mixture in with the dough. Mix the two together. Okay, I'm going to mix this around with my hands. I'm going to put a little flour on my fingers. All right, it appears to be mixed in there pretty good. So I'm going to put it in some wax paper and pop it in the fridge for about an hour. I'm going to let the dough in the fridge for about another 15 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get my filling ready. I don't like big chunks of apples. When I'm biting into a piece of pie, I don't want half an apple hanging out of my mouth. So I'm going to cut the apples into little chunks. Then just a little added touch. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of almond extract. So if you were using two cans of apple pie filling, you would just add one teaspoon to it. But since I have them in two, I am going to be doing that in halves. I love the smell of almond dextrin. I love it. Okay, then mix that around. And we'll have our pie filling ready to go. And this is enough pie dough to make two pies. So let's see what we got here. We're going to run a roll that out to about 14 by 17. So I'm going to kind of do it like this. Okay, right out here is about 14 if I do it that way. Well, that's pretty close. So let's see what we got. Try to make it a rectangle. See what I can do here. So 
Cut it off around here. Cut off the excess. Let's go ahead and pinch it together. Let's pour the two cans of pie filling in. Now remember, I'm making it half and half. So I'm going to have to keep one half over here. Next, you'll need one cup of all-purpose flour, one half cup of brown sugar packed, one half teaspoon of nutmeg, and one half teaspoon of cinnamon, and one half cup of cold unsalted butter. Let's go ahead and cut our butter into chunks. Let's mix the flour, brown sugar, nutmeg, and cinnamon together in a bowl. Let's go ahead and cut the butter in. Go ahead and sprinkle it on top. Now we're going to bake at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. All right, it's a bubbling. So this half is the apple and this half is the strawberry. I bet you any money, Doug likes the strawberry better. Me, I could care less. I'll eat them both. So. See, hopefully I can refrain from eating too much, but we'll see. Looking good. This is called slab apple pie. Even though I didn't have enough apple filling, so I used half strawberry, half apple. So which half would you like to try? Or a little of each? Well, it makes sense. I'll try a little of each. Okay, so we're going to try, we'll both try a little of each. Hot. Probably better with ice cream. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I burnt my hand. Hold on. She can cook it. The serving <laughs> part still eludes her. <laughs> okay. Let's each try a little of that. Yeah, I'm going to clean it up. Woo, that was hot. That's hot, folks. You might want to wait a few minutes. Go so. Ahead. Try not to spill any on yourself while it's hot. <laughs> yeah. Let me know which side you prefer. The strawberry? Or, oh, it is hot. I'm going to let it cool just a second. I'm married to you. I'm used to hot. Woo-hoo! If I had to choose one, probably the apple. Isn't that something? Now, see, I told you he'd uh, choose the strawberry. But by golly, he didn't. He chose the apple. You do not know me after 35 <laughs> years. Oh, dang nabbit. Okay. Let's see here. They're both good. The apple is really good considering it's pie filling. Mm -hmm. We'll need to sit here and eat the whole thing. Oh, my. It's good, folks. It's good. Didn't Try. take much time, especially if you do the store-bought pie crust. But then again, I don't know if it'll be as good with the store-bought. So it's up to you. It's up to you. That topping helps, too. So thanks for joining me here once again on Dee's Delight, and I hope you enjoy your apple slab pie. Bye. See you soon.